Hey everyone, this is Keith here, and just letting you guys know that I have a Patreon page. Uh, where you guys can go ahead and go on Patreon and choose to send me a dollar or two if you want. Uh, my rewards are pretty simple. Uh, if you choose to donate a dollar or more, this is currently my only reward tier. Uh, you'll able to you'll be thanked personally at the start of my videos, uh, as well as uh, you'll get early access to my videos. Um, my goals are pretty simple as well too. Really, I just want to be able to do uh, more videos as you see over here. This is really just my goals. Uh, I love doing videos, but unfortunately games cost money and unfortunately I don't always get review copies of games. Uh, sometimes I do have to pay at them with my own money and that can get quite pricey at times. So, you know, I'm just looking to do more videos and if you guys want to send a dollar or two to help me out, uh, I would very, very much appreciate it. Uh, shout outs to Mark for supporting me uh, and making this video possible. Uh, he also supports the Linux Gamer and uh, Cheese, uh, so it's really cool of him to do that. Uh, also, just a quick thing as well, I do have a website, guys. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, put a link to my website in the comments below. Uh, it is open source under the Creative Commons. Uh, if you go to the website, you, ha you have the service section, which just shows some servers that I host games for. I need to really format this to make it look better. Uh, but if you see the bottom bar here, you have contacts to various social uh, sites of mine. Like I have a GitHub uh, where this site is actually on. This site is on GitHub. Uh, and I have my Patreon link and my key base and email and Twitter and just a bunch of other things there. Anyway, yeah, guys, uh, enjoy the video. Hello, everyone. This is Keith here. And today I'm taking a look at the Banner Saga by Stoic. Now, uh, Stoic is actually a team of people who had previously worked at Bioware. So right off the bat, you know the developers have a good history in creating really rich uh, fantasy environments and just good games in general. Uh, so yeah, the Banner Saga is a very interesting game. Uh, I read up on the development of this game and the developers didn't want to go with the generic sort of orcs and goblin style fantasy and they instead chose that the fantasy be centered around uh, humans and giants, which is interesting because, you know, uh, you never really get just uh, sort of a focused uh, element like that to it. You know, usually you have all kinds of creatures, but them deciding to focus on just two particular ones is uh, an interesting move. I think it helps them uh, flesh out the characters more because they don't have to worry about so much variety. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I think uh, this game's very enjoyable so far. Um, it's Viking themed, in case you couldn't tell. It's a uh, tactical turn based RPG. Uh, which is similar to gameplay style as uh, Final Fantasy Tactics is probably the closest thing to it. Uh, once you start into combat and stuff, it's like that, uh, is what I mean. But anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and resume the game here. This game, interestingly enough, is on a variety of platforms. It's on mobile, that's Android, iOS, and it's also on Linux, Mac, Windows. Uh, it's even on consoles, PS4, Xbox One, and PlayStation Vita as well. Uh, See, so yeah, a very uh, interesting game. I've been playing it for a little bit now. Uh, so anyway, yeah, this is sort of the uh, after you leave the starting area, you uh, sort of venture forth, and you of course have like days of supplies for how much food and stuff you have. That's gotta last you for the journey. Uh, and then you have a map here, which of course it's a map. It outlines your journey and routes you can take in various uh, places when you get the decision to. Uh, and of course, you also have you know how many days you've traveled, options. Uh, renown, which is like your reputation, your crew morale, and just some other stuff. Uh, anyway, yeah, so this is where we can rest, uh, view our heroes' informations. Heroes are your uh, sort of uh, troops, I guess you could say. Uh, you can view various stats about them here and change their uh, abilities and whatnot. Uh, anyway, yeah, as you uh, the way you get points to level your character up and change his abilities and whatnot is you actually uh, have to get kills in combat with that character, and that gives them uh, points that they're able to spend. So yeah, we also have training here, which is of course like it uh, it's training. You know, it teaches you how to uh, play the game properly. And interestingly enough, the training scales with your uh, heroes' levels. So as you uh, improve your heroes, the training actually becomes more difficult. So that way it can sort of like, it does what it does. It trains you to be uh, uh, effective even at higher levels, which is interesting. It's the first time I've ever heard of training sort of scaling with the player's skill. 
uh, very interesting instead of just choosing down from a list of difficulties so anyway, yeah we're gonna go ahead and leave and uh, head out this game is very heavily story driven even the name means bad weather where frozen wind sweeps in from the bay they tend livestock but most are just man driven from strand with nowhere else to go why else would anyone stay we won't stop long but anyway yeah <laughs> As you could tell there when the game sort of interrupted me, uh, the game is very heavily story driven. Um, there is lots of dialogue and stuff to read too, and there are of course choices to make uh, in the game's uh, story. You know, there are oftentimes you're given decisions of which route to take, and that of course affects the outcome of several things. I'm just going to sort of skip through the dialogue here. I'm going to read it very quickly. Uh, oh god, combat already! So this is what I mean about the combat is uh, similar to that of Final Fantasy Tactics, is it is turn-based, as you can see. Uh, there we go. Yeah, the game's got an interesting tutorial thing. Okay, so it says here, Spearmen can attack diagonal. Uh, yeah, so there are some interesting... Uh, of course, this being a RPG, there's lots of uh, attributes and stats and just random luck that you have to, you know, RNG that you have to take into account. So here are the giants here. I really enjoy playing with the giants because they're just really hard, heavy hitters. Uh, so we're going to go ahead. Now this is, yeah, this is the combat system here. As you can see, you have, t uh, when you select the character, you have tiles you can move them to. Uh, the yellow tiles are uh, out of your character's uh, standard walk distance. So with the yellow tiles, you can move there, but moving there will cost, as you see here, these two little stars, that will cost your character's willpower. Uh, so if you want to move sort of, if you want to get more distance in your movement, you can at the cost of willpower. Uh, willpower, you really want to conserve it, because willpower is used for dealing extra damage with attacks, uh, really, willpower can be used to pretty much buff anything, but you only have a limited supply of it. So it's very important to choose what you want to buff wisely. Uh, in this instance, I'm just going to sort of walk up here and whack this guy. So, and each character also has their own uh, unique attack, which has very uh, unique attributes. Uh, we have a regular attack here. So this is what I mean about spending your attribution points. If I click this and I do this or excuse me, my uh, willpower points, you can actually buff up your regular attack to do more damage at the cost of willpower. Uh, you, now you have two different attacks when you go to attack an opponent outside of your uh, special attack. You can choose to damage their armor or do direct hits to their health points. Uh, damaging their armor will make them weaker for uh, regular hits. Uh, so, you know, you got to kind of figure out what's the most effective uh, strategy for each opponent. So I'm going to go ahead and attack this guy here. Ooh, this guy is really strong. I think this is like a cutscene battle. Yeah, it's obviously like a tutorial battle, and the game just wants me to get wrecked here. That's not fun. So yeah, see, I moved in a yellow space there, so that did consume a willpower. Can I attack this guy? I cannot. So it's gonna end our turn. That guy's about to wreck me. Uh, yeah, so the game is very uh, slow and methodical, which is nice. You know, it's always good to play every now and again to play a nice uh, slow tactical RPG that really makes you think about every uh, move you make. Although I think in this instance, this is just a cutscene area, and I'm gonna get wrecked. Uh, let's do. Let's just. Oh well, that, let's not go too crazy now. Uh, that will take. Wow, that'll take like. Okay, let's do it. Ooh yeah. We can disarm us that way we can do a bit more damage yeah this game's actually a bit unforgiving in a sense that uh once you your strength is both your character's uh health as well as his ability to do damage so as your character takes damage and weakens uh you know their health not only is their health lower and they're about to die but they're also very weak so it's very uh hard to use them in combat effectively uh, so yeah, this game can be really unforgiving, and you really gotta watch your character. You know, damage is a serious uh, obstacle in this game, and you really want to be smart with every move and make sure you don't just get completely destroyed. Uh, let's do this. Oh god, that's gonna use all of my. Well, no, I'll only use one. Let's really weaken this guy up. Come on. 
Oh, oh. Okay, we got this guy. Got it. Do it. Oh, God. <laughs> One damage. Yeah, I'm not gonna win this. It's fine, though. It's fine. Yeah, wreck him. Woo! Oh, no, I'm out of willpower for that character. Okay. It's fine, though. I got this. Uh, yeah, mess him up. Woo! I actually got him. Uh, whenever an enemy falls in battle, one willpower star will be added to your horn. Using the horn will give one willpower to the active ally. Oh, nice. Nice. Okay. Let's immediately spend it without thinking. Okay, they're only doing armor damage, so that will be an issue later in the battle, but for now... Uh, oh, wow, look at that. Ah, oh, get wrecked. So the game is very uh, fun and enjoyable once you start wrecking enemies. I thought this was a uh, cutscene battle that I was supposed to lose in, but... Let's go here. Rear! Uh, so yeah, that is how your, uh, your heroes level up, is you actually uh, defeat enemies in battle. And they get promoted for that, and uh, usually promotions give them points that they can spend. And Renown's, Renown is just sort of your reputation. Uh, I haven't actually quite figured out what Renown is for. So yeah, a lot of story elements here. Yeah, this game is very heavily story driven, and it's, you know, it's a fantastic story so far from what I've been reading. Uh, if you're into, like, really high fantasy and... Uh, really deep lore, then you'll definitely love this game. Especially if you're a fan of, like, uh, Viking-style lore, which this game is obviously uh, set around. Yeah. Interestingly enough, I read somewhere that the art style for this game is uh, very heavily inspired from Sleeping Beauty. I don't know if I've said that before or not, uh, but that's just one interesting thing I've noticed or, been, or I read about this game, and I, after reading about that, I can definitely see it. Oh, so we have an archer class here. Oh, these are the two people from the uh, main game. Oh yeah, I forgot. In certain areas, uh, in actual battles, you can click your troops and reorganize them. Uh, I think it's smarter to have the archer in the back. Well, I don't know. Who goes first? Alright. Let's move you here. Yeah, you click portraits. Alright. Alright, so I think... How far does her range allow her to go? Oh, wow. Really far. First time I've ever had a chance to play a ranger, so... Ugh. Oh, he's doing armor damage. Okay, no problem. No problem. We got this. We got this. Okay, what is his ability mark prey to? Oh. That's really nice. So I do that, and then she'll automatically... Oh, that's a really nice ability. I really like that, actually. Let's do a little bit of oomph in this one. Ah! Oh, God. He's getting wrecked. It's okay, I got this. Uh, I got his... It's fine. Eat it! No. Oh god, he's gonna get... He's gonna get wrecked pretty soon. Okay, doesn't matter. What said the needle do? Oh wow, it's all units between the archer and the target in a straight line. Interesting. That's not too effective right now. Oh, one more hit. Ooh. Oh, wow. Really weak. Yeah, the game does not want me to lose here, obviously. Yeah! Achievements! Weird! So, yeah, the game's very satisfying, uh, and it's very enjoyable. I don't really play a lot of these uh, turn-based RPGs like this. So it's a very enjoyable experience coming back to these games. I haven't played a Final Fantasy Tactics game in a while. Oh, yeah, we have choices here. Uh...
Okay. Okay. Good. That was a good decision, I guess. I was able to get out. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the decisions you make can have uh, negative or positive consequences, of course. Oh yeah. So I think for now that that about does it. Uh, you can buy the soundtrack for this game. It's one of the things that it has in the main menu or start menu there. Yeah. If you pause the game, it's one of the uh, options there. And I could see why the soundtrack of this game is really amazing. I actually enjoy it a lot. Uh, so anyway, yeah, guys, that's the Banner Saga uh, by Stoic, a very enjoyable game. Uh, if you're a fan of uh, turn-based RPG, tactical turn-based RPGs, or just very deep fantasy uh, games, then I think you'll definitely enjoy this game. It's a very enjoyable experience. I look forward to playing more of this game. Uh, anyway, thank you guys for watching. Squad 57 signing off.